John Rasmus here, cryptocurrency genius, um, crypto expert. Been following Bitcoin since 2010. Haven't invested in it till this last month. <laughs> anyway, as y'all cryptos know, Bitcoin is going up because people are forced to transfer all their garbage coins into Bitcoin. But people are undervaluating Ethereum. Elon Musk is figuring out ways. He's also figuring out ways on how to implement Ethereum. Ethereum is way undervalued. Ethereum, what is it, 271 right now? Ethereum is less than the garbage coin known as Bitcoin Cash, backed by the fake Satoshi. Everyone knows Craig Wright ain't fake. Eh, well, he's definitely the fake Satoshi, but everyone knows he's not the real Satoshi. There are some people who don't know the difference between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. They don't know what a fork is. They don't know what superseding and stealing to an extent, being inspired by taking the name Bitcoin, taking the name Satoshi, even though Bitcoin Cash, Satoshi's vision, have zero to do with Satoshi, zero to do with Bitcoin. Riding the coattails. I predict Bitcoin Cash goes below Ethereum and that Ethereum skyrockets to the moon and beyond. Ethereum's going to skyrocket to Mars. We ain't talking about the moon no more. We're talking about Mars now. I don't like fractions, all right? That's the only reason why I don't own any Bitcoin at this particular second. I own Ethereum. I like Ethereum. Um, when you see, oh, based on the Ethereum, delirium. I don't know, all right, all the terms. I'm an idiot, okay? But one thing I'm not an idiot when it comes to is patterns, all right? I invested last month only to find out it was the biggest search of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency since the almost $20,000 spike of 2017 Bitcoin because I have a little bit of a knack for picking up on invisible trends, even if the trends are extremely unpopular. I personally invest in Val Kilmer coin. This is Val coin. It's a physical coin. You can get it on ValKilmer.com. Um, ValCoin is guaranteed to go skyrocket through the roof. But I also invest in cryptocurrency. I got some Stellar Lumens. Eh, it's breaking even. It's breaking even. But it was down for two hours not too long ago. People say, is it really, de is it really decentralized? Decentralization is extremely important. This is my first cryptocurrency update video ever. On my iPhone, no big deal. If I wasn't from the future, why would I be wearing this hat and these shades, all right? I'm from the future, okay? And uh, Ethereum is way undervalued. Ethereum is gonna skyrocket to $1,000 when Bitcoin hits $10,000, or at least it should. If it's not, it's being undervalued. Don't invest in garbage coins that have fake Satoshis backing them, would be my personal advice. Uh, focus on decentralization. EOS. I was really, I guess it's pronounced EOS. I was really stoked about EOS until I tried to pop it onto my trust wallet. And guess what happened, dog? Straight up, son. I couldn't pop it onto my uh, trust wallet because EOS is 0% Decentralized, 100% centralized. Uh, it's just a token, all right? It's just a, a website token. Do you want to buy some Farmville cash? Because that's the quality of a centralized token. Facebook is coming out with a centralized token. Only on the Facebook servers, only purchasable, I guess, obviously with Facebook products, but Facebook owns different companies. You know, we got the Oculus Rift stuff going on in different branches, this here and there. Maybe you can use it on those products, I don't know. 
but the Facebook dollar, Facebook coin, is going to be a stable coin. It might be worth one dollar. It's not going to move. It's not going to change. The only one making profit off that is Facebook. The cryptocurrency market, we're not going to make any money off that. Only Facebook's going to make money. So the Zuckerberg types, even though they're mega billionaires, they want mega more billions. Um, billionaires just want more billions. All right. Millionaires want more millions. All right. That's the re one of the reasons they stay billionaires and stay millionaires, because they have an unceasing, unquenching thirst for more and more and more. I personally would stop. I'd be like, you know what? I'm good with 10 million. <laughs> and then I'd spend half of it investing in a company. Oh, startups are a bad idea, man. Yeah, but I actually uh, would be making a really, really cool video production company. I would hire really cool people. I would hire real people. I need an editor, but I can't afford one right now. Get some Valcoin at valkilmer.com. Guaranteed to go up in value. I like Ethereum. Um, Ethereum is my number one pick right now for a uh, crypto. Bitcoin's obviously a safe bet, but you don't want to buy high and sell low, obviously. Um, I've been investing in a bunch of different stuff. Link. Uh, link. Uh, it's like a chain link crypto. I bought it at $1.50 after the Microsoft announcement of the collab collaboration. Um, so we might see Link rise, but I decided to exchange my Link at about $1.70 to Ethereum. And so far, I've made money off of that bet. Uh, but maybe I'm going to regret it. Maybe I'm going to pop back into Binance before they close it from U.S. customers and snag a little bit of Link. Eh, I mean, when I see a currency that has $100 billion, I see a greedy company. One billion, not too bad. Hundred million, not bad at all. You see a lot of overvalued, devalued. Link, I looked at the stats, I looked at the decentralization, I looked at the collaboration with Microsoft. A decent, it's more decent than I thought it was. I might snag a couple hundred dollars of that. I can't afford it, so paycheck to paycheck type of situation. I haven't had Taco Bell because I put all my money into cryptocurrency, but you know, it's probably for the best. I need to lay off the uh, lay off the fast food, but uh, more. All right. Bitcoin, Ethereum, cryptocurrency, crypto, not cryptid. We're not talking about Bigfoot here. We're talking about the gigantic foot impression of the cryptocurrency market taking place in the future. Cowboy Bebop. Wulong was the digital currency, all right? The Wulong doesn't exist, but everyone held around like a portable bank in Cabo Bebop. Sure, they could go up to a bank teller device, but they could even do it from a portable bank. That is no different than a, a physical wallet for your cryptocurrency. Only get decentralized cryptocurrency because you can put it on a cold storage hardware wallet and you can forget about it. If you can't do that, only the company is going to make money. Decentralization is key. A trustworthy company is key. So find out who runs the company. If you see, eh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not stoked about that country. Or maybe I, I read a couple of articles on that group of people. Maybe they're good. Maybe they're iffy. Do your research. Research the crud out of the crypto yourself. Ethereum, I think, is going to go up. Sure, it's going to go down and up and down. But in the long run, people are going to be sucking all of their altcoins into Ethereum and Bitcoin because they have to. They're forced to. Uh, some exchanges allow Bitcoin Cash to be also and Litecoin also. And so you're going to see Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash temporarily going up and down, up and down. I'm not a huge fan of Litecoin. Definitely not a fan of Bitcoin Cash or SV. But like what you like, dislike what you dislike. People do their different research and have their different uh, answers. I, I've been looking, looking at old videos two, three, four, five years ago. Oh, it's going to go through the roof, man. It's going to be worth $10 a piece. And then you look at this obscure 
crypto and it's 0 0.00001 and the company basically bailed and he was a cash grab. Stay away from the cash grabs, but you got to research yourself to see. Do you, they have a collaboration. The only reason I got it into Stellar Lumens is because of the IBM collaboration. But Stellar Lumens are eking away. I mean, they could be the future. It's all about adoption. When the masses adopt something, in the mind of people, it's worth something, the value goes up. Whether you think Bitcoin and cryptos are worth anything or not, it doesn't matter. You can still make millions off of what people think before the value goes down. That's my goal. I'm going to fund this channel. Feel free to donate to my Bitcoin wallet I'm posting. Ethereum wallet, other wallets in the description of this video. I thank you for watching. This has been John Rasmus. Just a quick update. More videos coming soon. Ghost Investigations, a new Coke review, as if not every YouTuber is going to do that. My Coke hasn't arrived yet. Uh, thank you for watching my last music video. It's a 2014 music video that I wanted to re-edit, and I took it down from a channel. I deleted it. It was gone for five years. But it's new to a lot of people, and uh, I'm not, I don't have any aspirations to make a hip-hop mixtape anytime soon. I'm not a rapper. I'm just a YouTuber. And great content coming soon. Ghost investigations. Cryptocurrency updates. Until next time, I thank you for watching. This has been John Rasmus. Be seeing you.